You know, I tell you know, I, this is something that amazes me right here. This is very amazing to me right here. This car, try to guess whose car that was. That's our car. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's amazing, man. That's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, like <laughs> that car ended up in R and B Auto Center in Fontana, and what amazing about it is like that's where we bought the car at four years ago yeah it was four years ago 2019 when we bought that car at R&B and it, they sold it to us for 15.5 for the car and it was only a six-year-old car at the time six years old with 85,000 miles one owner we bought that Camaro for 15.5 back in 2019 and then four years later it happens it all happens to be R&B who bought the car off of me of us and now they're selling the car and it what may, amazes me even more is to see what they're actually asking for the car four years later a car that's now 10 years old with 96,000 miles on it and and they're selling it for um Nineteen nine nine nine. I mean, they're selling it for twenty thousand dollars for a car that's ten years old now. Like versus six years old, that the versus of the car when it was six years old, and we paid fifteen five for it. Yeah, that amazes me. You know, yeah. So the dealer selling a car that's ten years old now instead of six and and it's a two owner car with 96 thousand miles and they're asking twenty thousand dollars for that car <laughs> I, I could not believe that I mean, that's funny man I, I, I think it's just funny that, that 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 where where it ended up at you know I, I thought I mean these dealers who were doing a bidding war on us on our car I, I thought they they um their dealer was way over there at um at um Huntington Beach or whatever because that's where they said that they were coming from but apparently I guess they all work with R&B I guess it's a mill it's a lot of people that go together to buy cars and and I guess the, the way dealerships work and I mean I guess it's a lot more complicated than I think it was I mean they buy cars and then they I mean it's like it's a lot it's a group of people who do all this stuff together I mean to, to make a profit. So imagine if they can get $20,000 for that car, which I kind of don't think they will. I don't think they're going to get $20,000 for that car. But, I mean, if they were going to get $20,000, they're going to make $8,000 profit, man. Wow. But I, and then I walked to the car, <laughs> and then it's like, I saw the... Um, I mean, I, I knew that it was our car because I, I saw that they did fix some of the little scratches. That I, I did see that they fixed them. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's a little news for the... I mean, it, it made, it, it's just amazing, you know, that, that, that I actually found that, that found out about this, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, what amazes me more is that they're selling it for more money, like, as a 10-year-old car than how much they sold it for back like four years ago in 2019 as a six-year-old car at the time so yeah you could see the information here i mean like the car facts that they have i'll give you this link you know i mean yeah that's funny man and then this car all the and then there was the car facts that showed right here i mean yeah little car facts seven history yeah, that's me. One, I'm one of the previous owners. <laughs> Ninety-five thousand miles. That was funny, man. And then person, and then the the person before me owned it for five years or six. Yeah, it's only a um, it's only a, um, it's only a two owner car. I mean, for we we owned the car for four years or almost four years. So yeah. I mean, I still can't believe this. And it's funny on how it ended up over here. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, out of all places, I didn't think that... I, I had no imagination that it was going to end up over here. And, and then out of all places, ending up an offer up, too. <laughs> how funny. Oh, man. I'll leave you guys this link here. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I wonder how long they'll take to sell it. I mean, but I know obviously it hasn't sold because... 
Because I did drive by that dealer, and, and they had it parked in the same spot, man. The same little area. Yeah, I, it, it just amazes me, you know. Yeah, it's funny, man. So, well, I hope you liked this video. This amazing experience that I've been through. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess that's where it's all at. I mean, so it makes me wonder. I mean, yeah, and I wonder, that because that would probably kind of tell me that the car market, the used car market is hot. But I don't think they're going to get $20,000 for that car, though. I really don't think, but I don't know, man. I mean, dealers, the thing about dealers, though, they, they have all the resources needed to be able to make a sale really easy. I mean, for me, if I was going to try to put that car for $20,000, there's no way, no way I would get $20,000 for that car from a private party. Because you kind of figure it, it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder to, to conduct a transaction through a private party than to, 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 to just walk into a dealer and get approved right off the bat and take off with the car for the same day. I mean, that's something you cannot do as a private party, unfortunately, you know. But, I mean, it's smarter to do it through a private party, but it's kind of more, more of a pain in the butt to do it that way. I mean, well, because you have to go to a bank and get pre-approved, and that could take a day or two. And once you do, you have to. You can only see the car upon um, whatever time is good for the seller. I mean, I mean, we don't know what day it's gonna be. I mean, you know, it can be a pain in the butt to do it through the to buy a car through a private party. It's it's a process. It's kind of like a a lot of things that's involved in taking care of the business or buying a car through a private party because you have to go through a lot of trouble to finally do it. I mean, and and it won't go smoothly and then you, you probably would have to take the car to smog it and you have to go to the DMV yourself. I mean, but I, I don't know how many percent of people actually do that. I mean, but I, I all I can tell you, it, it, it is kind of a pain in the butt the, the way I think of it. Like to do it to 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 do it that way because we would have to get a loan from a bank and and then we can only see the car upon the seller's schedule. I mean, and they, I I would imagine that it would be a little bit of it would be quite a bit of trouble and we wouldn't be able to take off with the car right away. I mean, we would have to wait probably a week. I mean, I, that's my thoughts, you know. And then if we like the car, we have to contact the bank. Uh, we have to contact the bank telling them about the car and then they have to talk to the other bank if their if their car is not paid off you know it, it kind of it gets pretty complicated you know like to buy it through a private party yeah you know that's my thoughts i mean yeah i mean but of course unless the easiest way to go the easiest way it would work it if the private party had a paid off car and, and the person had cash and the buyer had cash that's the easiest way but if the private party didn't have a pay, paid off car and the buyer had cash, then they would have to go through the trouble to the to go to the bank and then pay them up or whatever. And then it takes like a, like a week or so to they have to. Yeah, it's a lot of trouble. That's my thoughts on how it works through the private party. But when you go to a dealer to buy a car, they have all the resources that they need to make a quick sale and make an easy and so that the the upped price of these cars is what 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 it's all for I, I would think of it that way i mean the i mean the upped price on the car is for the convenience of of being able to make a transaction off the back you know like you don't have to bother with the things you know involved in private parties so that that's where the all the resources from a dealer is at i mean yeah i mean so the dealers have the great advantage of all that stuff versus a private party you know i tell you <laughs> yeah so all right okay i hope you liked this video so all right i'll see you on the next video